Hello YouTube Reservoir Warrior here. It's nice to uh, come home from a crazy day of work, find nobody home that I can finally record this video of uh, uh, my uh, fight stick, arcade stick, whatever you want to call it. So I've had a Mayflash F500 V2 for uh, I want to say a few months now. I'm loving it. I finally bought new uh, buttons for it. Uh, I, w I did get a um, Semitsu stick for it, but it didn't really fit well, so I just have the stock stick, but put a new ball top and washer and whatnot on there. And uh, instead of doing custom art for this, I thought it would be cool to load this thing up with stickers. I bought 17 stickers from Redbubble. I knew not all would fit, but I didn't think 10 of the 17 stickers would fit on the fight stick. Obviously not are all on the top. Uh, before I show that, I'm going to show you the stickers that did not make it onto the... Uh, fight stick, but I I know for sure two of these are going to go on my new laptop, which I'm finally, uh, finally ordering on next week. Man, I can't wait. So uh, the first one here is Jack Frost. Jack Frost is definitely going on the laptop. Pretty much Atlas's mascot. And that's a, um, actually both Megami Tensei and uh, Persona games, I always used uh, Jack Frost. Currently, Persona 4, I still have... Or, not Persona 4. Persona 4 Golden, I did use Jack Frost a lot, but... Uh, currently, Persona 5 Royal, um, I have Jack Frost. I actually just beat the uh, second palace, and I have 21 hours. It's pretty crazy. Um, what should we call it? Yeah, around June. Yeah, I'm in, what, mid-June in the game? And then I do have one LE sticker on the uh, fight stick. Because uh, she was my waifu for the longest time. This one I'm not sure where I'm going to put yet. Maybe on a deck box. I'm not sure though. And uh, unfortunately I couldn't get this Roy sticker on there. I was trying to get all my mains and fighting games on there. But I do have uh, three, technically four on there. The technically four is because uh, I've never owned Persona 4 Arena. But the character I have on here probably would be my main. And then I use that character a lot in uh, cross-tag battle. Technically five, actually. Because <laughs> one of them's a blaze blue character. So he's on cross-tag and then regular blaze blue. Sadly, couldn't get this Cassandra sticker on there either. Oh, uh, but this uh, Psycho Pass sticker definitely going on my laptop, though. I have to. I know a lot of people don't like Akane, but I like her. And then we have a fairy from uh, Grand Blue Fantasy, who I used uh, first. Big mistake. She's kind of hard to uh, use, but I'm. she's still probably going to be my main. I have a lot to learn, more so than any other character I've used in a fighting game, but I'm okay with that. And then we have one Yuri sticker here. One of them did make it on the fight stick, though, and that's what I'm about to show. So maybe only two of those stickers are going to go on there. There are others I want to order off Redbubble that will probably go on my laptop. My laptop, I'm thinking, is going to have four, maybe five stickers. One in the center to, uh, I guess, block the Acer logo. And then uh, one on each side. Because my current laptop is also an Acer. It's an Acer Aspire. I've had this thing, what, six plus years now? And it's just bad. It's super sluggish now and whatnot. And uh, since I am building a gaming PC, I'm going to go with an Acer Nitro 5. I know that's nothing crazy, but for the gaming I want to do, it should be fine. I don't know how that's going to work. Um, hopefully, I'll still be able to do the uh, Fire Emblem randomizer videos I want to do. Because on this laptop, I had issues with uh, the audio sync. Hopefully, that's not the case with uh, the Nitro. But we'll see. And now uh, here is the fight stick. So for the longest time, I had this Sneak sticker on there. Sneak is my energy drink of choice. Absolutely love it. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but if you're debating between G Fuel, Sneak, I'd go with Sneak. I mean, yeah, they're a little pricey and all, but it's worth it. Not as sugar, not a, you don't get as sweet of a flavor as you do with uh, G Fuel either. And then I went with... Uh, Shadow Nanako here. I had to. I love that. No, not Nanako. What am I saying? 
Oh my god. Naoto, there we go. Oh, how did I mess that up? I had to go with Shadow Naoto because it just looked hilarious. But I do use her and Noelle in uh, Cross Tag Battle. And then Noelle's my main in Blaze Blue. And Blaze Blue was really my first truly competitive fighting game. I mean, yeah, I always played Smash Bros. ever since the uh, first one on the uh, Nintendo 64 and Soul Calibur 2. But the one I really played competitively was uh, Blaze Blue. Calamity Trigger, to be exact. And then we have uh, Ellie on there with the music notes. Thought that was cool. And then I had to put a Yuri sticker on there because she's my main in King of Fighters. And King of Fighters is, uh, uh, like I said in my unboxing of King of Fighters 14, that was pretty much the primary uh, fighting game I played at arcades back in the day. And then, of course, I had to have a Subasa Reservoir Chronicle related sticker on this. So there's the feather. I might reorder that same feather sticker to put my laptop. We'll see, though. I have to see what other Subasa related stickers they have on Redbubble. And then, you guys know me, I love Gundam uh, 00. It's my favorite Gundam series and in my top 10 favorite anime of all time. That list will happen once I get the new laptop and whatnot. So you have the Celestial Being logo there. Noel, and then um, I had to get a Fire Emblem related sticker on here, and um, that Ingrid, uh, that Ingrid uh, sticker I found was just small enough to fit on here. Um, I kind of wish I put this sticker a little uh, lower. I probably could have fit one more here instead of the Yuri. And I was trying to actually fit the Yuri sticker where the Ellie is, but it just couldn't work. And then the only thing with this Ellie sticker is it is on the. Uh, it is on this part, so I do hit it when I'm going right, but it hasn't really damaged the sticker at all. And then the other Ellie-related sticker I have is on the, uh, whatchamacallit, is on the cable compartment here. I thought that was absolutely perfect to put it there. And then, let me turn this around. Nothing here yet. There was a Haro sticker I was going to get that I totally forgot about. Uh, that might go there. It might be too big, though. And then on the back, there's a Calamity Trigger sticker I found. Barely fits. And then this uh, Juness sticker, I wish I put a little more to the right. Probably could have squeezed one more, uh, like, long way sticker here as well. But had to get that sticker. It's awesome. I kind of want to sing the jingle right now, but I'm not. Because <laughs> I don't want to embarrass myself. I'll save you guys uh, the headache. So yeah, the uh, stick is nothing crazy. I actually thought this uh, this ball top has a mesh mesh finish on the top. It doesn't feel mesh though. And in the picture from a focus attack, I thought it was going to be a lighter blue, but it wasn't. And I'm actually okay with that because it fits my button scheme or my color scheme with the buns a lot better. And these buttons are uh, crown buttons or Sam Ducka, I th Sam Ducka, I think they're also called. I forget, but what's cool about these is they have the uh, Cherry MX Speed Silver switches actually in them, which is the same uh, switches I have on my uh, Corsair um, keyboard that I bought with uh, leftover Christmas money, I think it was. But yeah, these buns are absolutely great. I love them. I have no issues with them. They feel fine. They're not as loud as I thought either, which is great. And then unfortunately, when I was um, changing the buttons, I accidentally... Um, Uh, I accidentally broke off one of the wires for the L2 button, so my L2 button sadly does not work. So far, that hasn't been uh, really problematic for me. I know with um, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, there's just one move with Fairy I can't do, but it's not a move I really would see me use much, so it's not a big deal. With um, Soul Calibur 6, I can't do A plus G. Um... Have I tried it yet in, uh, I don't think this is too problematic in King of Fighters either. Uh, Dead or Alive, I know I can't do a taunt, which is no big deal. I think it was like a taunt with the gauge, which I don't, again, I don't really see use for that. If I'm wrong, scald me in the comments. Haven't tried it with Street Fighter 5 yet. 
I don't have Tekken 7, but that might change. And I haven't tried this with Injustice. Is that all the fighting games? Let's see, Grand Blue, Injustice, King of Fighters, Street Fighter, Dead or Alive. I think that's it. I might be missing one more. Not Tekken. No, I think that might be it. Right? Looking at all the games I have. Yeah, I think that should be it. So, thankfully not the worst button. If anything, I can always remap, um, remap some other button I don't use much uh, to L2. But for the time being, it's not a bad thing. And then probably will not get another fight stick until later on next year, I want to say. Because you guys know we're getting the PlayStation 4 early this year. And I know the fight stick or uh, the uh, fighting game community is waiting to see what companies come out with next in terms of fight sticks. And then what fighting games are we going to get next year? And I think it's for that reason I'm not... I'm like iffy if I should get a PlayStation 5 on release or not. I feel like I am. Just so I have it, but the weird part is I probably will not use it much. Just because there's still a lot of games I play on my state PlayStation 4. There's a lot of fighting games I still play on the PS4. And I don't know if they're exactly going to be backwards compatible or not. If they are, cool. I'm pretty sure this will work on a PlayStation 5, though. E even if uh, the only... Uh, even if there's only USB-C ports on a PlayStation 4... This thing actually comes with a uh, USB to USB-C uh, adapter. Which is uh, handy for using it on the Switch. And on my phone, actually. And it works right away on the Switch, which is nice. I have no issues there. PC, obviously, I can use this on. Stomach growling. I feel like that happens every single time <laughs> I record a video lately. Uh, this does work on PS3, and it does look like it works on some probably Neo Geos. It says DIN slash PS3 slash SNK, if you can see that up there. Uh, X input, I think, is for the PC, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe for the Switch as well. But if you are looking for a fight stick, I'd probably go with either the Mayflash F300, this F500, or a Quamba drone. You don't want to go too expensive. Especially if you're getting into fight sticks. Plus, like I said, since PlayStation 5 is right around the corner. Which, oddly enough, you think we wouldn't get any new fighting games for the PlayStation 4. And then, here comes Arc System Works with a uh, new Guilty Gear. So, we're getting that at some point this year. Pretty gutsy move, but I, could, I see why they do it. Because obviously not everybody is going to jump to PlayStation 5 right away. But, yeah, like I said, I absolutely love this thing. The reason why this is still the stock button is because I forgot it's a smaller size button. And obviously uh, these won't fit. Almost just showed my address there. Hope my address didn't show. If it did, oh well. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not going to get rid of the semi-2 stick. Obviously, I'll just save it for my next fight stick. And I think my next fight stick is actually going to be um, one you can pretty much build from scratch on focus attack, which is pretty cool. So I think that's what I might end up doing. It's pretty cool because it's like clear and see-through so you can see all the wiring and whatnot. Maybe I'll do the same thing, just load it up with stickers instead of custom artwork just to make it a little more unique. I know this may look stupid, but I absolutely love it. And yeah, if you didn't know, Ingrid is my favorite character from Three Houses. They didn't have a Lucia sticker. She's my Fire Emblem waifu, but they didn't have that on Red Bubble, unfortunately. They did have Nephany, which is pretty cool. So I'm debating whether or not I get that for the laptop, but we'll see. And, uh, oh yeah, definitely Sneak Sticker has to go on my laptop. <laughs> I, I know, I make it sound like I'm actually uh, sponsored by them, but no, I'm not. <laughs> That'd be cool. Maybe, maybe someday if I actually give this channel uh, the attention it's deserved for many years. But uh, anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, don't know if this is going to get uploaded today or tomorrow, which would be Easter Sunday, unless you're Christian Orthodox like I am, then tomorrow's our Palm Sunday. Yeah, we got to make things confusing for all of you. And I'm sad too, because I would have been in Anime Boston right now. That's all right. I'm just sad because the guest list was amazing. Ah, oh, there were so many, uh, there were a few Fire Emblem voice actors I wanted to see. 
I think female Robin's voice actor, Annette's voice actor, male Violet's voice actor. It was going to be fun. Oh, well, though. And anime next got canceled, too, so... Unless there's an anime convention nearby in November, it's going to be a conventionless year for me, which is pretty sad. But we do have the dates, I think, for both anime... Well, I know we have it for sure. Oh, yeah, actually... All right, stomach, jeez. <laughs> it's like it's telling me to shut up already and uh, stop recording, but... One more, one more thing before I go. I love making these videos awkward. Anyway, um... I know Anime Boston next year is going to be in the beginning of April, and I forget when Anime Next is next year, but I believe they have the dates for that as well. So, yeah, here's hoping um, all goes well in 2021 with those. I might be in Tampa by then, though, but we'll see. I think I'll be on a break for Anime Boston, though. And obviously, when Anime Next comes around, I'll it'll be summer. Or, I mean, I'll be most likely on summer break and that's when i would come home obviously both both my breaks i would be coming home but yeah that's a, that's another thing i'm seriously considering going to uh, tampa for college i don't know if that's going to be delayed a bit now because of the uh you know because of all the crazy shenanigans that's going around but who knows hopefully everything gets better by next month but you never know i hope so it's, it's been rough, but anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll um, see you next time. I honestly don't know what the next video will be. Might be a while to my next video, to be honest. Because I really... Well, I guess my next video actually would be me showing my new laptop. And then uh, I am getting a sealed Game Boy Advance game in the mail, but I'm waiting until I get two more games to do a uh, to do a video on all those. That'll be the following week, and then um, hopefully by the end of the month I can get a box of Set 20 of Cypher. I only say by the end of the month because obviously I can't buy it next week. Probably buy it the following week, but just uh, shipping is probably going to take a while because I still cannot find any on Amazon. We'll see if that changes within the next couple weeks, but I've seen, I've seen them on eBay though, so that's probably where I'm going to go. Anyway, stomach growling again. It's almost a 20-minute video for no reason. But, uh, yeah, thanks again, guys, for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now. So satisfying. Sorry.